Well, this is a compression type of valve. You're going to make sure you tighten it tight or it'll drip. Okay. Probably going to need a new faucet on. This is an old beast. Is it leaking? Yeah, it was dripping. Oh, it's, it's leaking around the it's leaking around the packing nut. Let me see if I could find out what's going on with it. Let me fix the other thing. Yeah, that's all leaking around the packing nut. Let me let me finish the other thing first and we'll get over here, okay? out from around the handles is what you're saying, right? No, it was just dripping. It wasn't leaking out on the handles before, but it was just dripping. <clears throat> leaking out around the handles now. <laughs> Crazy. If you can't fix it, I... Let me just take a quick quick look at it. If I can't fix it, I'll put a new one. How's that? Okay, that's good. Something major, we'll have to change it. Something simple. That might, might be a different story. If I can even get it apart. Oh yeah, no, she's got a... She's an old... She needs a new one. Oh, that's fine. She needs a new faucet. That's it. Well, it shouldn't be that big of a deal to change it, I don't think. Put a new one in there. It's not old. This is a crusty old one. Yeah, it came with the Shuts off, it'll be good. Ooh, look at that. It's coming out rusted. Sometimes you gotta let the baby out with the bath water. Yeah. You ever hear that one? Yeah, I love that thing. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Time to go. Time to go. If I could disconnect it here, I should be able to uh, get it apart. I had this one girlfriend that I was, I was uh, not a girlfriend, but some lady that I was talking to, right? Yeah. She's uh, flipping Jehovah Witness. She wants me to go with her door to door. I said, I don't think so, lady. <laughs> <laughs> go door to door with her. I don't, think, I don't think so, lady. They came here and I went outside and I chatted with them and, and uh, they asked me if they could say a prayer. I go, yeah, go ahead. I can, I can have any prayers. I can, I can use any prayers I have. But then... Okay, I'm going to for a new one. That's one. 
This is all back when the stuff was really copper, real good stuff, you know? Alright, pull it out now. Let me see if I got a faucet in the truck. I should have a good one. This thing? Uh, yeah. I got the, uh, something for the laundry I do. Yeah, so you do use it. Yeah. Alright, let me get one out of the truck. Oh, good. I like these gravel faucets. They're, um, they're quarter turn and they're, um, they're nice little faucets. For the love. Handicap. Handicap accessible. Right up your alley. Right? right? Yep. Might have to grind that hole a little bit. Looks like I gotta get my grinder out and grind them holes a little more. Hmm, that's not fitting in there. I gotta open it up a little bit. Should be a little biggie. I just bought this new tool. My other one died on me, so I bought a new one. We'll see how it works. Let's see how this new one works. Clean this spot off with a new one. How's that sound? <laughs> yep, never a dull moment. I'm surprised she didn't keep her other name because her kids are all named like that. Right. I'm surprised. Uh, what if I don't know? Falling out with the ex, I guess. Never an easy thing, huh? Yeah. Never easy to go for a divorce. I did that. I only did it once, though. I was smart. I stayed away from it. Second. I ain't getting, I don't know if I'd ever get married again. Maybe if she's got a lot of money. She's rich. I might That's think about it. Said. Huh? That's what my brother said. <laughs> yeah, she's rich. Right? I went to school with him. Yeah. We went to, we went to the, uh, we were both in the union together back in the day. 
This one's got like rubber inserts, so I don't think I even need the, uh, that, but I'm going to put it on anyway, just to be safe. Gardening. Not too much. No. Well, maybe I'll do more, because if I got this and I'm retired, I probably will do more. Yeah, seeing you're retired. Wouldn't hurt. Tighten it up. So your brother's pretty handy then. Yeah, he owns a uh, water taxi boat that goes back and forth to New Bedford and um, from uh, Putty Hunk to Putty Hunk. And um, he is really handy because you know, he could just, he's not too good with mechanical stuff, but uh, I mean the car, but he's good with house stuff. Yeah. <sighs> he's just so busy with his boat and everything. Really? He just don't want to work for you for free. Oh, he's done so much for me in the past. Like, he helped build that, that shed out back. He should. He's, he's going to have a pacemaker and defibrillator put in. Um, I'm going to take him up and, you know, because he's not with anyone. So um, I take care of my cook for him and stuff. So he's going to um, have that put in on June 21st. Pacemaker? Yeah, and a pacemaker and defibrillator because... Um, he has AFib and he has something. Well, they say if that thing kicks in, it it like sh it, it it knocks you, it really whacks you good. Yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. I don't know how true that is. Yeah, it is true because um, someone I know, my one of my old bosses, uh, had a heart attack. He went down on his knee and then he was starting to go down like this. And he was braced up against a wall and all of a sudden he heard pop and he jerked. He fell over on the side, but it. Saved him because he had his hot spot. So that defib gave him a zap. Yeah, and then he said he was good enough. He's by himself. He was good enough to call 911. He got back to them. So it saved them. Yeah, it did. All right, so I'll put this back together. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I just gotta tie the drain in yet. Here I am running water on you. Okay. I'm running water down there, and it's it's dumping right down on the ground here. Yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'll have to reconnect really connect the drain. Sorry. We can put this back together. This is a this is a Joe homeowner special if I ever seen one. It works. I'm gonna try to reinvent the wheel here. We don't want to reinvent the wheel. The flipping government trying to do that shit to us. Flipping idiots. Changing shit. They're always changing things on us. You went to the electric cars and the windmills and all this shit? I'm not, I don't think, I think they don't have the infrastructure for the electric cars. And then what happens when we, when the power break is uh, overloaded? You know what I mean? I was talking to the guy down in Florida. Remember that guy in Florida? Yeah. He says uh, they're good for 300 miles, but the problem is, if you run the AC, they're only good for 150 miles. Yeah, that's crazy. And everybody in Florida has to run the AC. So he says you can't go far with them. Right. Because um, the AC really sucks sucks a lot of juice out of them, he said. The old, the old time, they gave me some uh, pretty good tips. <laughs> you know? Talk to him. I can see maybe one day if you everyone had like a a little garage or a, um or a top one that had solar panels on it, you could. Oh. 
All right, so that's draining. It's not there. The technology's not there yet, you know? Uh, well, we, you know, we don't have the infrastructure to do yeah, all the electrical. We need, we need to have independent... Um, See, like, you, you can't rely on the power grid. What happens if the power grid goes down? You're not going to drive? You're not going to be able to drive? Well, already in California, um, like last year or the year before, if they if it's a big uh, summertime when everybody's running the AC, they have blackouts. I know. I so know. now, how are they going to do all this extra shit with all the electrical? I know. Uh, electric not, cars. I know. They, they, they can't. Think, they're not thinking. No. I can see myself when the batteries get better and the technology gets better and when they have the whole infrastructure. I can see me having.